Say something hideous and horrible jumps out at you. Something so disgusting that it simply must die. Ah, oh, it's so tacky. I can't look directly at it. Hello again, Internet. The Ginger Geek here with a look at another obscure game. This time, the much underappreciated cult hit. Psychonauts. Psychonauts is a brilliant little gem of a title that sold extremely poorly for such a fantastic game. The game comes from the creative mind of Tim Schafer, who gave us such point and click classics as Full Throttle and Grim Fandango. Psychonauts, however, was a deviation from his usual grounds of point and click, instead opting to be a platformer. However, even with the genre jump, the game still emanates with Schafer brilliance. The concept behind the whole thing is brilliantly surreal. You play as Raz, a young psychic who, in a twist on the traditional formula, runs away from the circus to join a summer camp for equally talented individuals. His presence is quickly noted by the undercover psychic recruiting agents working at the camp, and from this premise, the game then spins a wondrous and hilarious tale of shady goings on and undercover operations. Now hold still, this will only hurt until your brains come flying out. The plot is bonkers, but brilliant. Delivered engagingly by fantastic characters, a ragtag group of crazy individuals with extremely varied and humorous personalities. Something that, interestingly, actually affects the level design. The way the game works, you see, is that as a psychonaut, you have the ability to jump into people's minds and subconscious, with the personalities of that individual you invade shaping the world you see. For example, the army-obsessed camp coach Oleander sends you through minefields in an epic war, while fashionista Sasha has a lot tidier mind, and the enemies you encounter in his brain are really quite different. The game is hilarious. Personally, I found it to be one of those extremely quotable experiences and often was laughing out loud during my playtime. You might think with all this focus on humour and storytelling that the gameplay would suffer. However, that couldn't be less true. As a platformer, while it is no Super Mario Galaxy, it is still a fundamentally fun experience. With a big open world to explore, tight controls, and new psychic abilities always just around the corner, you are constantly finding secrets and new things to do. The levels are consistently varied and all tied together with a great surrealism that gives them all such a brilliant and unique identity. While not the single greatest polished platformer of all time, its weirdness often makes it an extremely fun one. Yes, sir, Admiral, sir. The graphics haven't aged too badly either, especially not the PC version you see here, which out of nowhere just recently received a patch that added cloud saving and Steam achievements. I can't really recommend the game enough. It's just excellent, and best of all, there's nothing else like it. It's crazy, funny, engaging, and yet bizarre and surreal. And at this present time, it's only like six quid on Steam right now, so you have no excuse. Goodbye. Okay, I got it. Check it out. Excellent. Okay, as you all know, what I'm gonna say, review over. Uh, if you liked it, give us a like. Feel free to follow us on Twitter, Facebook. Check back on old episodes. You know the drill. But not so quick, Dan. We've also got to announce our winner from our Indie Royale giveaway. So, I put a number from 1 to 7 in random.org, and the number was 4. So, the fourth comment down is one from Pasha132. You've won. We'll message you before the end of the day with your code for your bundle. Happy gaming.